Hey, I don't be with him, he's so basic. Well, you the hop and your bros hating. All of them fake, I see both faces. Scared of the whip, it's a ghost racing. I knock him down. Be running. I'm in my go yard when I walk in, I know yard telling me nothing. Gonna man, mm, mm, mm. suck it if y'all in denial. I get the chip on him and I bust out the south side. Is that big of the guy? Oh, yo, stop it quiet. If it's no, I didn't got it. See my jewels shining, shining. White diamonds, Molly Cyrus, private jet, private pilot. Look at me, stylish, stylish. Masterpiece, body, body. Young, hey, I don't know no better. I'm on this every day. We got momentum, don't try to stop it. Diamonds are clearer than my conscience. I don't let bygones be bygones. It's that's when I'm honest. Penthouse building, reach heaven's heights. Now nah, that's what you call a god complex. Remember the days I was down low when it was out cold, but I went out and got it. Look at my milestones, when it fell out of Dow Jones. When you look at my pocket, look at the flex. Yeah. Whipping the Teslas. Ooh. I'm a mess, but I'm a ooh. It's out of finesse. Ooh. Boy, yo, stop it, quiet. If it's no, I didn't got it. See my jewels, shining, shining. White diamonds, Molly Cyrus. Private jet, private pilot. Look at me, stylish, stylish. Masterpiece, body, body, young. Hey. No, no, but I'm on this every day. You cannot run with me, but I'm a heavyweight. Baby, I know what's coming, I can barely wait. And when it was on, they wanted me gone, boy, I'm here to stay. Stop calling me low, bro, I got mileage on me. Walked in with the whole team and we riding on it. More action and no talk, I went quiet on it. Walked in with the whole team and we riding on it. They don't know my name, I get through the pain. Say sweet on my face like it's lemonade. Tie me up in chains, I get through the pain. Say sweet on my face like it's lemonade. They say fall and you let go. But I know I got an antidote to retain some kind of self-control. Look inside my head through a telescope. You were raised so the calls from a telephone. No sense of smile, maybe tell a joke. Holding back your tears, singing minimal syllables. Yeah. Look at me, out the asylum Was a fate or mistake, cause the time ain't up Yet a parts of my mind don't get much love If you want in my head, come and call me up You look like a twisted Robin Hood Do you take from the rich and the poor and us Wearing diamond shoes where you walk your pubs In a town you create where there ain't no love Reflux, I drip out from the socket to a teacup. Drink up inside, look when they peep us. You trust in the belly of the beast, but outside there's a war going on on your front lawn. Black Hawk, see the red dawn horizon. Blind yet I'm rising, abiding by laws of attraction. My thoughts still rising. Thank you. What type of knowledge gon' sink in? Life gives you lemons, and my only thought is drinking. Thirsty, will I be alive or dead before 30? This all that concerns me early. Lemonade quenching my inner rage when it takes to the stage way before they pouring on my grave. Minute made, let it set my soul ablaze. On each and every way, put me in the water for the save. They don't know my name.
This for the ones that think I'm joking. This so real for real. Lightweight bust off half a half a. Yeah, I'm sweating, baby. Must be all them happy meals. I don't know how happy feels. But damn, I'm trying to find you. Say I got sex appeal. I think it's cause I work it. Got a gun. I'm ready to race. No, I don't fear none. I'm stuck in my ways. They say I'm the chosen one. You see it in my face. Get this one and I'm holding on. I can't be replaced. I just take a sip when it's spit. We on chat. Someone put me out cause I'm on fire I can't give up about what they say They've been searching for that thing to get them higher You can't catch my drill, can't catch my wave Damn Kane, you done kill Abel I'm bad land trying to keep the people stable The way I feel, I might f*** it all up The way you feel, you might do it for the bug All black Born to be a rebel after this, I might go and water down the devil. Listen to everything around me, I can't see. You picked a dozen roses and left them in Galilee rolling. Thunder, don't hear my cry, don't let alibi splash if I finally starting to realize. Never give up and go inside, can't watch TV. It's all a lot, tired of trying, go ahead and fly. Everybody want a straight answer with media, keep us blind. A good heart is not hard to find why the people try to define infrastructure, right? I don't got time, infrastructure, right? I don't got time. I could, I could, it's all to what talking about, you're about to protect themselves and daughters from political and slaughter. Ah! Someone put me out cause I'm on fire. I can't give up about what they say. They've been searching for that thing to get them higher. You can't catch my drill, can't catch my wave. Never play by the rules, that's what paying my dues They gon' try to intrude, poison the multitude They be quick to accuse, when you got different views Just know you gon' pay the price, best up the item you choose Many times in the culture, hit you with them can't ultra I knew you was a vulture, holy ghost get the ushers No, 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 I can't trust you, shock you, deny you fluster Crashing down, I was cluttered, doing this so subtle Falling out through the rubble, remember this in jungle The top, I was gonna get something, the middle gotta stay hunting Why the rush up for nothing, why the rush up for nothing Why the rush up for nothing, why the rush up for nothing Agitated illusion, only built for confusion the, the institution Modern the execution, think I know the solution Maybe not should I do it, just put it in the music Just put it in the music Someone put me out cause I'm on fire I can't give up about what they say They've been searching for that thing to get them higher You can't catch my drill, can't catch my wave You're burning out in
Winner is just around the corner as you get a look at Bill Stadium just south of Buffalo, New York. The folks in Buffalo love their Bills, and a moment ago they entered to the delight of this sold-out crowd. They're set for football as their Bills will do battle with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Two teams trying to stake their claim to postseason football. Week 14 of the NFL is underway. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. fake here on first down and he's going to drop this off to his fullback and they're able to get this one across the 35 nice way to start the drive a gain of 12 and a first down I think the good offensive coordinators in the league now are looking at the fullback position and finding the right guys to hide in that spot and increase their passing game as we just saw there how about the run after catch racked him well, yeah, whether it's a true fullback, a tight end, you put in the fullback spot, you know they're going to be tough to bring down if you can get them the football in the passing game. Now the first carry for Devin Singletary. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. If you start assessing what went wrong last week, Charles, in their loss, had nothing to do with the ground game. They ran it well. And you also have to say to yourself as a team, don't go away from what worked. That's not the reason the game was lost. Running the football over time, when you do it consistently, usually translates into wins. And they're hoping to do it consistently here. Defensively here, you're facing a top-five team in terms of points scored in the NFL, so... When they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored, give yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. him up five first and 15 from the gun it's Allen he's going deep for Brown it's caught inside the 25 and he takes it down deep into Pittsburgh territory a big play here for the Bills 44 yards at the 13 yard line So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Allen. He's got it complete to Diggs right side. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. That catch good for only a couple. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third-and-two situation. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. 
but a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. They'll try and run for this with Singletary, and he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. It's fourth down. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. So the shotgun snap to Allen. This will be caught at about the five. And now this is going to depend on the spot. And they say he's just short. Well, trying to be bold on the opening drive of the game, but that effort, it proves futile. How many times have we talked with coaches where they've talked about taking the emotion out of their decision-making? I think that opening drive, if he didn't have it in his head to go for it before, I think that keyed into it. They were doing so well, and he decided to really establish something there. They didn't get it. Now they got to make sure that they don't lose their focus. And he'll take this forward only up to about the seven. The tackle is made by Micah Hyde. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room. If you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, he didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. Throwing on second and eight. Haskins. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Third and two, now Haskins. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. And he will have a Steelers first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. First down. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Haskins will throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he's going to keep it here. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive gain. Working with a second and four. Out of the shotgun, Haskins. That one caught by the rookie, Chase Claypool. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. First down. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. On the option, Haskins. He'll get eight on the keeper there. It'll be second and a couple. Well, that's what he can do you know, when he keeps the football. It's not a huge gain, but it shows how hard it can be to stop it. Yeah, and I thought the defense had that one pretty well contained. And in fact, they probably came up and felt pretty good about what they did. Then they looked up and realized he still got good yardage out of it. He's a tough guy to stop. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. On first down, it's Haskins looking middle, and it's incomplete. Eric Ebron, the big tight end, is intended target, and that'll bring up second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide.
A second and ten. A very chilly day here, but no snow. And you know, I gotta say, if it's gonna be this cold, I want snow. You should see Charles' face. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Sliding out of the pocket. The 20. This is Johnson. He's got it. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Deontay Johnson. His second touchdown on the season. And the Steelers have taken a first quarter lead. And he'll put it through to make it 7 0 Steelers. After one, 7 0 on EA Sports. Chris Boswell to kick off for Pittsburgh. Boswell on now to kick this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. ready to go for their next drive. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. Going deep for Diggs. That's caught at the 25. And all the way down to the 26. A big play here for Buffalo. 49 yards. 26-yard line. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Stephon Diggs with his 16th touchdown of the year. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying the football game. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. That ties the game at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. First and 10 at their own 23-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. They'll run here with McFarland. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. And it's third down. the play fake. Here's Haskins. He's got a man open. It's Chase Claypool. And he will have a Steelers first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. On first down, Connor plowing ahead for about three. It'll be second and seven. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Go. 
from just shy of midfield. Haskins, completion here to Claypool. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Finds his running back, James Conner. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. But they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. First down, McFarland, and he struggles to get a yard here, maybe a yard, down to the 31. Nice play there by Ed Oliver. That's why he went ninth overall when he came out of Houston back in 2019. Second and nine. Haskins flush to his right. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. And the Steelers on third down. A perfect four for four thus far. This is third and nine. Here's Haskins out of the gun. The Buffalo defense does its job, and it's fourth down. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. Chris Boswell on for the field goal. A 48-yard attempt. And this one is right down the middle. And the Steelers will jump out to a three-zip lead. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone, get you six? And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. 25-yard line. Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Second and 10 at the 25-yard line. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. Pass the 20. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Dawson Knox, his second touchdown on the season. And the Bills have retaken the lead. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call. But he got it, took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's NFL, those tight ends are often former wide receivers or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put them in a position to get a great matchup and make plays like that. Their own 25-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the draw. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. From the gun, it's Haskins. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Jerry Hughes make that now eight sacks for him on the season. It's second down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action.
Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. Throwing on second and long. Haskins. Pressure gets to him and down he goes. Back at the four-yard line. And Oliver in there to get him. And that is sack number six now for him on the year. Back-to-back -back sacks have this place in a frenzy as they line up again third and long now. Operating from the gun. Haskins, he's going to float this one deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. An eight-yard return there after a punt of 47. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes. Back to back, what a momentum swing that would be. Yeah, you might be able to get a two for one without ever even giving up the football. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. The last run got six, now second and four. Check, check, check. Check 26, check 26. From the gun, Allen. Man open left side is Brown. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. That one, a first down pickup of eight. First and ten at the 38-yard line. On play action, Allen rolling to his right. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. First and 10 at the 27-yard line. False start there. That will set the offense back five yards. Brandon, the lineman certainly flinched there before the snap. A good call. A full five-yard loss that time. It's going to make second down pretty tough. Operating from the gun. Allen. And he'll get this underneath to Singletary. That'll be a gain of 15 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Now before this second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. As the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. At the Steelers' 17-yard line. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. And again, it's Allen. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Allen to throw once more. And that is caught by the back judge right there to say incomplete. Stephon Diggs, his intended receiver. And it's second down. Seconds of the first half, and the Bills will add on to their lead. For the extra point. That's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen. Willing it all the way down just about, and still put the ball in the end zone. And just a methodical drive, and something really to take into the lockers here. Extra point right down the middle, and that makes it a 21-10 game. Four 
seconds. All that remain here in this first half as the kick gets away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Flushed out right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. Thrown across his body and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Boyer. And he will be brought down as time has now run out on this first half of action. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. The Steelers going to get the football first here, trailing on the scoreboard as we are back underway on EA Sports. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play. And nothing but daylight ahead. He's at the 30. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Anthony McFarland with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Steelers are able to make this a close game again. Now Mike Tomlin says, let's go ahead and go for two. From the gun, Haskins. And this one incomplete. So they went for the two. They don't get it. Tough there. Good pass. Hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere. Seeing that play, focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. And a short kick taken at about the 16. The Bills take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. They will run with Singletary. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. The Steelers now in the nickel here on third down. They go right back to Singletary. He gets it forward for four, maybe five, but the flags fly. And this one could be coming back. That time, the right guard sending him backwards. And so many different types of guys rotate in on the defensive line now, depending on situations. You can get the bulky guy, the fast guy. No matter what, though, he can't hold him. Going deep for Diggs. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Mike Hilton. And a terrific return as he brings this one all the way back to the 30. Well, it's a cold night. And whether you're a quarterback that wears a glove on his throwing hand or not, that ball is a rock, Brandon. You've got to really drive it through the cold and the wind, or it can take off on you. And that may have been what happened there. They'll run on first down. McFarland, and inside the 20 before he's brought down. 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. 
Here's Haskins to throw. He dumps this off underneath to McFarland. And a good gain here of nine from the 19 down to the 10. It'll be a gain of nine, and that'll make it second and short. Second and one at the 10-yard line. On the run is Connor. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. A good carry and a first down by James Connor. And this Pittsburgh team is really hoping he's back in form because... Last year, the entire Pittsburgh offense suffered without Ben Roethlisberger, quarterback. James Conner, only 715 combined yards. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Complete to Derek Watt, his second touchdown on the season. And the Steelers have once again taken the lead. And now the Steeler offense staying out there, and they'll go for two. Connor going to try and run it. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Steelers 22, Bills 21. Chris Boswell to kick off for Pittsburgh. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. At their own 22-yard line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Their lead, they have seen it evaporate completely after such a good first half. They've been shut down here in the third quarter. Searching for answers, trying to figure out what it's going to take to get back to where they were before. The big part of it is that sometimes you don't have to go exotic now. You go back to basics. Being able to run the football, string some things together, some effective passes, try and get a rhythm established again, and try and get back in the lead. Back in the lead, like you said, back to the basics. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop it behind the line. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven as that one officially a loss of one and seven on play action Allen in a double coverage and it's intercepted picked up by Steven Nelson just a little bit of a rough stretch six interceptions now in these last two weeks combined I know the easy thing is to go back to mechanics footwork things of that nature I'm also wondering is he getting fooled by what he's seeing on defense? Has the scouting report changed? Are they showing him things different than what he expected? For the second week in a row, he's throwing it to the guys in the wrong color shirt. Yeah, he better figure whatever the reason is. He better figure it out. And for one of the first times all night, he is going to go nowhere. They say bury him behind the line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Six-yard line. Haskins now off the bootleg. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Mario Addison, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. Third down. Now Haskins, third and long. Well, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Jerry Hughes in there to get him, and on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. Barry on to punt as he gets this one away. Take it in at the 22. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return, and possession will switch hands first and ten. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys, you had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership.
They'll run here with Singletary. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. I think it's pretty good strategy. If you throw interceptions on back-to-back -back drives, let's see if the running backs can handle the ball a little bit, get things going, and also can motivate your offensive line. I think they're in the mood to fire out and hit someone. Uh, I thought the defense, though, might be a little more prepared for that run. Pretty good gain on the ground. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. In trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. And that will be incomplete. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. Four yards on the return. But for a moment, looked like he had a shot to go all the way. And the Steeler offense, they're set up nicely as they take over. Throwing now, Haskins on first down. Able to hit his target, Claypool. Uh, he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. And a yard at the 30-yard line. On second down, McFarland. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. A gain of one yard. First down. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Well, we had a number of good games in the afternoon sessions, but this Sunday nighter might top them all. So we come up here on first and ten. Running with McFarland. Fighting him off. And out of bounds right around the 20. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. If you can keep getting games like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand. They're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. At the seven-yard line. Now a run with McFarland. And the Steelers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads. Bowled over a few people. Look at that one. Right up the gut. Saw through three quarters. No reason to light up now. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And that is going to set up third and goal. Operating from the gun, Haskins. Dancing to his left. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Incomplete. Out of the end zone. It's fourth down and goal at the three-yard line. Here we go, a big play in a tight game late. They're going on fourth and goal. try and throw forward with Haskins. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. And a great return as he's up close to the 40-yard line. 
Well, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting negative or otherwise and turn it into positives moving forward a good start to the drive here's that's caught out on the left side they'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds that's a good way to start the drive 17 yards and a first down so the shotgun snap to allen smith catches left side now seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Ran the perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Allen's throw is complete. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellent. That's caught by Brown for a Bills touchdown. John Brown with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Bills have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. So now an important conversion attempt here as the Bills line up to go for two. Again, they'll throw with Allen, and he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good, and they add on to their fourth-quarter lead. Steelers. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Steelers take over first and 10. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. Now a pass that's taken in by Smith-Schuster. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Working the sideline there, good route, good catch. First down, and he gets out of bounds. They have to like the play calling because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and incompletions to use the clock. Complete to James. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting and they stopped him for a minimal game. Eluding the pressure right. And some space here. Haskins, not the most mobile of quarterbacks, but delivering there on the scramble to pick up the first. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push. And what do they create? Space. And he takes off. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. Now Haskins. That's complete. It's Anthony McFarland. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Well, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. Buying time to his left. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. Maybe a critical mistake at this juncture is now they've got a first and 10. McFarland running out of the gun. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. 
I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. No early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. And they're going option play on third down. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second and goal. And the ball smacked down on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. His pass caught at the four. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. I'm a little surprised right here. They've got three timeouts left. The clock's running down, and they aren't using them. Those timeouts do you no good at home. Use them now. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. On third and goal, they're going to run the option to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Speed is the name of the game when it comes to RPOs, and sometimes you can be a little too quick, thus inaccurate, incomplete. Three-yard line. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. Now it's Haskins. And he is across and in for the score. And now they can tie the game in the final stages with the extra point. Or they can go for two and go for the win. Yes, sir, that touchdown puts them in striking distance. And let me tell you something, forget being conservative here. Go for it, go for two. Well, going for it on the road, want to win it right now. Want to win it right now, have the momentum, go ahead and get it done. And now they're going to go for two and a possible win as this crowd rises to make things difficult. And now the decision is to go for two. A gutsy call in this, in effect, is your ball game right here. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. Now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Haskins to throw. And it is caught. They got the two points, and with it, they've taken the lead. Bills 29. Chris Boswell to kick off for Pittsburgh. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. So you're right there, but obviously the clock is not your friend. How do you handle this situation? You're thinking two plays. One to get yourself in position for the second one. Whether you're able to get into field goal range or you have to try another deep pass, another Hail Mary. But you're trying to get the first one to a receiver, get out of bounds, and give yourself a chance to set things up for an easier shot at it. See if they can do it. Might be easier said than done. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. So all eyes now on Tyler Bass. His first attempt of the night here, and it's a big one. It's for the win. 
And his kick is right there. It's good. And the Bills have taken the lead here in the fourth. A little drama there at the end, but really this thing was already decided. The late points get scored, and then it ends on the kickoff. And I'm right there with you, partner. At the end of the game, they knew what they had to do. Just make sure you don't cough up the football at the end. Just take care of it, and victory was theirs, and that's exactly what they did. So for Buffalo, it's a very important win as they move to 9-4 and four now of the year. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Denver Broncos. Meanwhile, for Pittsburgh, you wonder what this will do to their playoff prospects as they fall to 8-5. and five. And they'll try to turn things around next week as they have a matchup in Cincinnati against the Bengals. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.